What's going on, boxing fans? This is Kenneth Espy Boxing. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Huge night of fights happening tonight at MGM, not just MGM Las Vegas. You have the little MGM in Kissimmee, Florida, at George the Boxing in his house. So go ahead and subscribe. We have a quadruple header, just not just four big fights happening at the MGM Las Vegas. We have a fifth one as well, which I'm going to go ahead and speak in this video. Um, so go ahead and subscribe. So if you're, you're too busy, you're working, you're out of town, like I am actually in Paris right now, so I really, really... I'm going to go ahead and drop this video real quick with my predictions. Hopefully, I can get through all the other four predictions, how I see it. Maybe I can just mix it up in one. But as of right now, this is going to be a Keith Thurman versus Leonard Badu um, prediction. But go ahead and subscribe. So post-fight, pre-fight, live coverage, round for round. So we're going to go ahead and cover it. Um, but why am I so excited about tonight? You have the likes of Keith Thurman fighting. You have Charlo fighting. You have Omer Khan fighting. You have Abner Mades fighting at the MGM Las Vegas, Nevada. And then you have Timothy Bradley fighting as well. Um, not in the MGM, but it's a good night of fights. All these fighters, they're they're right there. They need these wins. They need these victories to go ahead and get a title fight to to move up in the rankings. Matter of fact, majority of them are in the top rank in the top rankings. So this is this is it. Um, everyone is pretty much looking to to cash out. Majority of them are looking to fight Mayweather. Majority of them are looking to fight Manny Pacquiao. So all of them have a, a big chance that they put on a great performance tonight. So go ahead and watch it. Um, you have Keith Thurman versus Leonard uh, Bondu, which is, I'm excited about this fight. Why am I excited about this fight? Because you have two-time Keith Thurman. He's stepping back into the ring. Um, he's young. He's hungry. He's one of those fighters that, you know, a lot of people want to see. Why? Because he brings a lot of action. But he's stepping into the ring against the European welterweight champion, um, Leonard Bandu, who's from Italy. Both fighters are stepping into the world circle. The guys are undefeated, but someone, both fighters that step into the ring together, you guys know that O has to go. Um, but there's, when it comes to Keith Thurman, there's a lot of skeptical fans out there. There's like a lot of huge fans, huge backing that jump on the bandwagon and go ahead and fight, you know, go, go with Keith Thurman. And then you have a lot of skeptical fans with Keith Thurman. We've seen it a lot in boxing. They feel that these promoters are hyping him up. But is Keith Thurman the real deal? Now, a lot of skeptics were basically saying, you know, they're waiting for his, you know, two times to step back into the ring and, and step, you know, uh, step up his game and fight better opposition, better fight, better competition. Um, it's hard to say, though, against Bandu. Bandu has, even though Bandu has never lost, he's 40 years old, you know, so he's definitely past his prime. And, and I understand he's a European world champion and stuff like that, but he has never fought the likes of the competition as as tonight, he's going to step against the ring, Keith Thurman. So he's never fought anyone like Keith Thurman. So it's hard to say. But I'm not taking anything away from Keith Thurman. Why? Because Keith Thurman, he's a great fighter. He has he has um, he pulled up a lot of impressive victories. He has a lot of power, and he put a big name for himself in the sport of boxing as a rising star. Um, now Keith Thurman himself, you know, he he's definitely open. He's definitely honest. Is he ducking? Is he dodging? Are the promoters hiding him? Are they building him up? Absolutely not. Keith Thurman has been honest. Um, Keith Thurman has been wanting to fight the best of the best, and he feels he's been ducked and dodged by a lot of fighters out there. Nobody wants to fight this guy. I remember a post-fight, via post-fight conference, um, Paulie Malignaggi was, was sitting there um, in the seats, and he called him out. He verbally called out Paulie. He was like, hey, look, man, don't duck me. Don't duck me. Don't duck me. And guess what? Paulie never fought him. That's when Paulie was champ. Um, and he felt verbally, you know, Paulie, Paulie ducked him. You know, Paulie's response to that is just like, hey, you know what? You, you, you're not bringing me any money. So that's just a obvious indication that you're, going to, you're, you're ducking. Keith Thurman's definitely hungry. He's definitely hungry, and he's honest on his opinion about fighters. He's so honest, he even passed the weigh-in, which I'll speak into a little bit. Um, he felt like, you know, they asked him who they felt is the, one of the most overrated fighters in the welterweight division. He said Omer Khan clearly is one of the most overrated welterweight fighters in his division. Why? Because, he, you know, he, he's, he's beat his first fight in 147. He beat Kayaso. But he, like Keith Thurman said, you know, Kayaso was definitely an older Kayaso, past his prime Kayaso. So he's not, he's not, he didn't fight the, the tr true Kayaso. And, you know, he's going to step into the ring against um, Devin Alexander. But Keith Thurman said, you know, Devin Alexander is not a true full fledged welterweight. He's, these are both 140 fighters fighting one another, you know. But he knows, um, he has made it very, very clear, even though he can't step into the ring against Floyd Mayweather Jr., which he wants. Manny Pacquiao, which he wants, he wants the winners. You know, he wants to take on Timothy Bradley or Omer Khan. Now, <clears throat> stepping into this fight, both both fighters, you have um, Thurman, you have the European champion, um, Leonard, and both of these fighters are, are, are headed in, in the right career path. Matter of fact, all the fighters are heading the career path. Omer Khan, Demel Alexander, um, Keith Thurman, not so because Keith Thurman is not really fighting a, a top contender. 
Um, Timothy Bradley, not so, because Timothy Bradley's not really fighting a top contender, which I'll, I'll speak, speak, speak about in a little bit. Um, but I'm really, really excited to see Americon versus the Devin Alexander fight. And hopefully Americon, the winner of that, will go ahead and take on Keith Thurman or the likes of Timothy Bradley steps in. But I'm going to go ahead and speak about that in a little bit. But both fighters have a good, they're on the right path that they want to cash, you know, they want to cash out on Mayweather, Pacquiao, sweepstakes. Um, but what's my fight prediction coming into this fight? Um, Keith Thurman is known for his power and, and good, and but uh, you know he has a lot of good feet work. He has a lot of good feet work, and he knows how to box. He definitely knows how to box. Everyone knows him, knows him two time for his power. But I seen you know if you watch his his films, you watch his past fights, he knows how to box. He knows a little bit of boxing. You know, um, I think coming into this fight, um, he's not going to fight too aggressive. In the, the first uh, first several rounds, he understands the guy's 40 years old. Um, you can't take him lightly. Um, he's definitely not taking him lightly, and I, I feel that he's not going to come in um, going for the kill or anything like that. I think he's going to use his boxing ability just to feel him out. Like Keith Thurman said, uh, quote unquote, Mondo is an important fighter. He's 31 and 0 for, for 31 and 0 for a reason. He's coming over here with with confidence. He is an Olympian, and he feels the, that that his age you can't you can't judge his age obviously look at bernard Hopkins and stuff like that but he can definitely put you to sleep um but he, he's done his research he's done his study and you know he's worked hard in the gym so he's definitely ready and prepared he, he's made weight he's looking good but he's definitely not looking over and looking past bondu so that's that's a clear indication of a good experience good uh a good, uh, good head on his shoulders, and that's definitely what you definitely you need a good mindset when you're coming into this ring and being a fighter. You can't look past, you can't look past this, this opposition. He's undefeated for a reason. European, not European. You just never know. But all in all, I think Keith Thurman, he he can't afford to let this fight go, um, go to his scorecards. I think he needs to pull off an impressive victory, and by doing so, he needs to check Bondu's shin and do what he does best, two time do his best, and put him to sleep and and and, and call the night within ten rounds. If he puts on a, a major impressive victory like that, he can go ahead and get a get a great fight. You know, Keith Thurman versus uh, Cal Brook, Keith Thurman versus Amir Khan, Keith Thurman with this Timothy Bradley, and that's that's awesome for the sport of boxing. But anyways, guys, I can't speak too much. Um, I got to get ready. I'm going to go have some dinner or whatever in Paris, hopefully. Um, come tomorrow, I'll watch the night of fights and, and, and see how it goes. But anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate the, the feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Keith Thurman versus Bondu. You think Bondu can pull off the victory? Do you think Omir Khan's overrated? Do you think Keith Thurman is going to get a, a fight um, to the magnitude of Manny Pacquiao or, or Floyd Mayweather Jr.? I know that's reaching. But go ahead. Anyway, I appreciate the feedback. But uh, friend request, subscribe. Have a good one.